straight final, no heats. A lot of people were wondering why, with such a packed entry list, there weren't any heats, but there's 24 men in this final. Two men missing are Philippe Ingebrigtsen, who we've talked about, and also the 3,000 meter steeplechase winner, Meredin Mekesi Benabad, who was amongst the original entries, but we still have a very, very fine field indeed. Mored Amdouni, as mentioned, the 10,000 meters champion, and coming up from the other direction, the 17 year old Norwegian, Jakob Ingebrigtsen. <laughs> there we go, Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Run 13.20 this year when finishing third at the World Under-20 Championships recently. A European Under-20 record. Abdel Mechal just missed out on a medal, finishing fourth in the 10,000 metres. The Spaniard. Alongside in the man who finished one place in front with that astonishing burst down the home straight and the European under 23 5,000 meter champion, Yamani behind Kripa of Italy. And the number two man in Europe this year, Sofian Bocicchi. Bocicchi finished sixth in the 10,000 meter final. We'll be talking about many more of the other 21 runners as we go along. A couple of people to pick out include Antonio Abadia, who won a bronze medal in the 10,000 meters back in 2016. Chris Thompson, of course, 210 European Silver medalist over 10,000 metres is also in this race. The oldest man in the field at 37. Oh, when Thompson was winning his first continental medals, Jakob Ingebrigtsen wasn't even born. <laughs> Trio of very useful Spaniards made up with Juan Antonio Perez. He finished ninth in the 10,000 meter final. Two Inga Brixens uh, side by side, Jakob on the outside with uh, Henrik just inside in fourth and fifth places. Well, indeed, I mean, they ran a fair chunk of the 1500 meters final, three abreast. And Jakob's had a busy day so far because he's already had his medal ceremony this afternoon in the center of town and then, of course, had to come here, warm up. So, a lot to do for the young Norwegian. So the 5,000 metres being led by Florian Carvalho. Back to the men's 5,000 metres final. And it's still Carvalho leading from Abadia. And just behind them in third place at the moment, it's Julian Wonders, who now decides to take the lead as he comes through with six laps to go. It's the Swiss athlete who's pushing on. Uh, Wonders... Had a good outing in the 10,000 metres final. Now, going once again. Well, they've had a reasonable rest. That's the virtue of having two finals. Following is Polak Kemboy Arikan, the Turk. And Wanders, of course, lives and trains in Kenya for six months of the year. Really has adopted that lifestyle. It says there's so much us Europeans can learn from their culture, especially with regards to running. And he's running pretty well here. Well, as we're back with the 5,000 meters, it looks as though Abadia has just pulled to one side. Well, at least it was one of the Spaniards. Well, Abadia has... Not, not dropped out, but has drifted back a long, long way. And instead, it's the young Inga Britson to the fore, going for what would be quite a stunning double if he was to pull it off. Youngest ever male European champion when he won the 1500 metres a couple of days ago. 
Just imagine the reaction in Norway if he was to get the double. So it's the two European champions together, Ingebrigtsen and Amduni. 1,500 metres and 10,000, quite a range. And it's Isaac Kimeli in third place at the moment, the former Spa European Cross Country Champion, under 23 champion from 2016. Kimeli's improved recently, improved in a very good race in Stanford back in April to 13.21.08. Arakan, well, Arakan's shown no form whatsoever this season, the Turk, but he's up there. And he dropped out of the 10, of course. And now it's Florian Cavalho who does have a good finish, but I'm just wondering what the 10 will have taken out of his legs. This is not specially quick, 11.21 with two laps to go. We'll get a bell time this time. As they come into the home straight for the penultimate time, 500 metres to go, there or thereabouts. And it's Jakob Ingebrigtsen followed by Henrik Ingebrigtsen as Belgium's Isaac Camilli gets up there on the shoulder and Dooney just behind them. Now it's going to really start to pick up the pace. Jakob Ingebrigtsen now at the front, followed by his older brother Henrik. It's Amdouni of France, Kimeli of Belgium. The fast-finishing Italian Cripper is in fifth. Arakan starting to struggle just a little bit, starting to lose pace with the leaders. But it's the two Ingebrigtsens at the front. Amdouni coming round. Now it's Kimeli into third. Cripper still not getting up with the leaders, but we know he's got a lightning finish down the home straight, but it's the Ingebrigtsens, led by Jakob, the 17-year-old. Behind him, his older brother, 2-NT-12 European 1,500-metre champion. But I don't think he's going to be able to add to his title. It's going to be Jakob Ingebrigtsen coming through for a stunning and memorable double. Jakob Ingebrigtsen adds to his 1,500-metre title. He's now the 500,000-metre champion as well. Henrik Ingebrigtsen comes home to make it a memorable family double. Henrik takes the silver. Well, 13.17.06 into the bargain. A European under-20 record. 56 second last lap, and we've just seen one of the most stunning doubles, surely, in distance running history. May not be the fastest pair of runs, but for a 17-year-old to win the 1500 and come back the next day and win the 5000, we are seeing history. <laughs> Without a doubt. I mean, we can only speculate what's to come. Confirmation there of the time, 13.17.06. Indeed, it is a European under-20 record. And... On the run-in, Murad Amdowney manages to hold off Tripper and Kimeli to take the bronze to add to his gold from the 10,000 metres. But the story has got to be, this is one of the stories of the championship, of course. Dean Rasher-Smith, perhaps the women's story. Jakob Ingebrigtsen, probably the men's. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> Come on, we can make this one too. Yeah. I think I've ever seen that in a race. But look at the way he finishes, the ease. It's 56 second last lap. Oh. And we didn't mention it. It's also the European fastest time as well this year. I'm just speechless. I've just watched that and I couldn't even say anything because this young talent, he was the talk of the arena today. Everyone in the media centre today was talking about his performance last night and god what will they be talking about tonight what a talent and Jakob Ingebrigtsen has got one more year in the under 20 ranks to continue decimating the records and it's nice to see Henry, Henrik Ingebrigtsen come through there in second Indeed. So Jakob Ingebrigtsen followed home by Henrik Ingebrigtsen, Morid Amduni taking the bronze medal.